You have a Doberman. Yes, Your Honor. And your dog was unleashed. The inevitable dog fight was broken up. You used pepper spray to try to get the dogs apart. Is it illegal to carry pepper spray? No, Your Honor. But it wasn't just the dog who felt the sting. She sprayed your child. I sprayed the dog. The child happened to run out and was there. I certainly wasn't aiming at the child. The child was impacted by your spraying mace. Judge Judy. Mr. and Mrs. Gilden, the defendant's unleashed dog and your dog got into an altercation when the defendant's unleashed dog approached yours. Correct. Your dog was injured? Yes. You want Mr. Ogle? Yes, Your Honor. To be responsible for all of the vet bills. He has, in fact, paid some. Yes. Refuses to pay the rest. Correct. He has a counterclaim. His counterclaim is twofold. First, that you, I believe it was you, used pepper spray to try to get the dogs apart. And the pepper spray, he was there and his child was there and could have been injured, so he's got counterclaim for assault. That's the assault. Yes, Your Honor. That's dismissed. Anybody go to the hospital? No, Your Honor. Anybody see a doctor? No, Your Honor. And your dog was unleashed? Yes, Your Honor. And is it illegal to carry pepper spray? No, Your Honor. Second part of your counterclaim I am going to entertain, which is that the plaintiff went to your place of business in an attempt to interfere with your job as a police officer. Yes, Your Honor. So I'll hear about that. Now, so I'm going to start with you. This incident happened on what date? November 23rd, the day after Thanksgiving, Your Honor. And your dog was leashed? Yes, Your Honor. And your dog, for whatever reason, you say it got tangled up and your wife went to unleash the dog, it got tangled up in your little girl's legs and she undid the leash and the dog ran off and went over to where the plaintiff was walking her dog, which was on a leash. Yes, Your Honor. And whatever precipitated the altercation, she got frightened. You have a large dog. She has a large dog. You have a Doberman. Yes, Your Honor. How much were the vet bills that you paid? My vet bill was approximately $994. And her vet bill, I believe, was, her initial bill was about $510. Now, the whole bill. Her, I, what I asked you was, your dog was unleashed. So you know that the, the problem is therefore yours. If your dog was injured, you pay for those vet bills. You paid some of the plaintiff's vet bills. How much did you pay? I paid uh, $510, Your Honor. How much were your total vet bills? They were... The ones he paid and the ones he d didn't pay? To get he him, paid he, you $510. He paid $510. Then there was a consultation of $136.50. And then... Consultation? With a dentist for the dog for $136.50. And then there was the, the actual procedure where they did the root canal, and that was $2,323. Now, on what date did they do the initial consultation for $136? Yeah, the 136 was on, it was December, like a December 12th. And on what date was the initial vet bill of $510? There was a, a vet bill of November 23rd when I, when I took him to the vet right after the incident. That was $260. And then I took him to, um, the next week, I took him to our regular vet where we used to live in Playa del Rey because she did some dentistry work. And that I'm was... Not, listen, if you want specialty work done on a dog, I assume you have an expert that is going to tell me that work that you had done a month after this incident on a root canal on a dog's tooth was a direct result of the incident that happened on November 23rd. Your Honor, here's the, the initial vet bill that said that he needed the dental work done, and I also have pictures that show his broken tooth. So this is the initial vet bill that was on the 23rd. I'd like to, I'd vet, like to see it. Please. And here's the broken tooth. Here, you want to see his other injuries as well? No, okay. I just want to see... No, I actually am not satisfied that he's responsible for cosmetic dentistry on your dog. It's not cosmetic dentistry. The, no the, the nerve was exposed, and they were concerned that the I, nerve I, was I infective. Under no, I, I understand what you're saying to me.